Summary of Miss Brill by Catherine Mansfield Miss Brill is a middle-aged woman who works throughout the day as a teacher for young students and as a reader for an elderly man who hardly acknowledges her presence. She goes to the French public park on every Sunday, which is called Jardins Publix, while wearing her shabby fur coat. She talks to the coat as if it were another person. This is the first thing that shows the reader how lonely and alone she really is. Miss Brill sits in the stands and watches and listens to the band and the people in the seats and on the grass around her. She is interested in everything she sees and hears, and she is so nosy that she listens in on people without them knowing. This week, though, a nice old man and a big old woman sitting next to her don't talk, and she sees that everyone else in the stands looks kind of the same, odd, silent, and nearly all old. As she continues to listen in on people, she sees a guy in grey and a woman with an ermine twist, which is a type of clothing. This couple makes small talk while Miss Brill thinks about what they might say and what might happen. She also notices that the woman's hat is shabby. But the couple doesn't make her happy because they break up before anything interesting or important can be said. Almost right away, she sees a group of young girls almost knock over an old man. At this point, Miss Brill is amazed by how fascinating it is to listen in on people, and she starts to come up with a theory that applies to everyone in front of her. She thinks that everyone here is all on the stage and is an actress. She thinks that she also has an important part to play in this play, one that would be missed if she weren't there. She thinks about telling the old man to whom she is reading, yes, I have been an actress for a long time. A boy and a girl take the place of the fine old man and big old woman in the stands. The boy and girl look rich and in love, but they are actually having a fight. Soon, they see Miss Brill and wonder out loud why anyone would want her to be in the park. They call her a stupid old thing and make fun of her old fur coat by comparing it to a fried whiting, a cooked fish. Miss Brill leaves right after that, but she doesn't buy her normal piece of honey cake on the way. As she finally gets to her house, she stuffs her fur coat back into its box without looking, but when she put the lid on, she thought she heard something crying. About the author. Catherine Mansfield was born in New Zealand to a well-known family. When she was 19, she went to England to go to college at Queen's College. She first thought she would be a cellist, but she joined the school newspaper and finally became its editor. In 1906, after a trip to Europe, she returned to New Zealand and started writing fiction seriously. She soon grew tired of how small New Zealand was, so in 1908 she moved back to London. The Garden Party, a collection of short stories that includes Miss Brill, is her best-known work. It came out just one year before she died of tuberculosis in 1923. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.